Thank you. Thank you again, Rob. And just want to say a pleasure to be on and say hello to, I'd like to say hi to all your uh, fan club members for tuning in tonight. Well, we appreciate it. Uh, so, so Brandon, I see you got uh, some LPs in the back. Have you been, uh, have you, you heard about our challenge tonight? Are you, uh, have you been uh, practicing all week and memorizing the artwork for our challenge? Is that what you've been doing? Well, I, I mean, I, I think I was just, I have a white curtain in the back here and I just wanted to uh, put a little bit of Elvis uh, decoration. So um, this the original LP that first came out. That's actually my father's record, which I uh, wow. stole, uh, which I stole from him. I'm just kidding. No, he knows I have it. <laughs> and uh, the Elvis, the Canadian tribute, which came right. out in uh, 1978. So uh, 1978 connection to the book. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, great. Uh, you know, that first album is, uh, is a classic and, uh, uh, for us Canadians, and I say us because I am a, a Canadian as well. I was born and raised in a province next to you, which is Alberta, uh, back uh, uh, a little while back. And uh, I flew south to uh, check out things here in the U.S., but uh, Canada is still my homeland. And uh, I've been to uh, British Columbia. If, if no one's ever been there, it is uh, just a beautiful province. Province is similar to a state. And uh, you got uh, everything there. You can uh, in Vancouver. You can uh, go water skiing and then go up to the mountains and go skiing. And the uh, later, you know, if you go up high enough, right, you can do skiing mm -hmm. and do, do a bunch of stuff. So it's a it's a a, a great uh, great place. Absolutely. Uh, we also have uh, uh, guests coming in. Uh, well, Cheryl Bott, she's a from a, from Toronto, so she's also Canadian. So we got some. Uh, uh, the Canadian entourage is coming here in, into the showroom. So, but uh, Brandon, you uh, been an Elvis fan. You talked about uh, the album you got back there um, that you got from your dad. So um, was, uh, is that where the influence came? Was it uh, parents, uh, grandparents? Uh, I think I know the answer, but uh, cause I, I, I've, I've gone through that book of yours, but uh, tell us where the influence came for you. Yeah, I, mean, I think it just started. My parents played Elvis's records on the turntable at home, and uh, just listening to his voice, listening to the richness in his vocals, and and in the book uh, I mentioned my grandmother, my late grandmother Jenny Wong. She uh, took me to Kelly's record store, which was uh, a few doors down, and she took me downstairs to the uh, L where all the LPs were, and I was just flabbergasted right. like there's so many elvis records and she told me to choose one and i'll buy one for you i'm like okay and i mm -hmm. think i spent about 20 minutes just uh you know going through all the plastic and reading all the felt of the of the price of their albums i don't know but they right. were back then and i chose uh mahalo from elvis that was mm -hmm. the album i chose and and uh and i kind of uh it kind of just started from there and and I would see Elvis's movies on TV uh, after he passed away. Uh, KVOS TV 12 in Bellingham, it would run a uh, Elvis marathon Saturday afternoons. It began maybe at 1 p.m. You have Clam Bake on, then you would have a Live a Little, Love a Little, then you would have Love Me Tender. I mean, it, it was just mm -hmm. like, I was like, wow, this guy, this guy only not only could sing, but this guy was in movies. It's like, this guy must have right. been a, must have been a superstar. And obviously he was. So, yeah. You know, I often get asked, you know, what, what do you like about Elvis? So you talked about the record albums and the movies and it's, it's really everything. It's the whole package. Right. And that, uh, you know, I, I uh, sometimes I, I, I turn on the, you know, now in the old days it was, I, I still, I'm, I'm an album guy. So I, you know, I still have my album collection, but you know, sometimes you want to hear country. Sometimes you want to hear rockabilly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to hear gospel. And this guy can give it to give it to you all. One artist doing all those things, right? Made him made him kind of unique, right? And I think and, that's what made Elvis such a, I mean, a versatile singer. He could sing different genres as you just described. I mean, it's just gospel, you know, rockabilly, rock and roll, slow songs, fast songs, you name it. I mean, he, you know, he just didn't. He, I think he was just God given talent for sure, right? 
Yeah. And the same thing with the movie, you know, if you need an escape, uh, you know, uh, there's some critique about the movies. I, I think Elvis was a, a pretty good actor. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, 50 years later, I'm still watching those same movies. I know what he's going to say next, but it's uh, it, cool. it kind of kind of takes you away. Right. So um, that's that's why we uh, you know appreciate what Elvis does. So. To write a book. Um, not everybody can just write a book. So what's what's your background? Uh, uh, are, are you a, a writer per se? Uh, uh, give us a little bit of background on on how this uh, your background on your yeah author I, portion. I attended uh, Simon Fraser University uh, and I studied communications. Um, and I kind of I started writing a book in the you know in the late nineties, late nineteen nineties, and I kind of didn't really have a a blueprint for that matter. I just kind of like, Hey, I'm an Elvis fan. Let's just, let's write stuff about his tour in Canada. And I just, what I did was I just typed, I went to libraries and printed out newspapers from microfiche and just kind of uh, studied all the concerts in Toronto, Ottawa and Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And, and then I just kind of, uh, you know, started writing and writing on you on word and I, I think I wrote about, uh, long story short, I actually wrote the manuscript. It was about 300, over 300 double-spaced pages. And oh, wow. it got lost somewhere. Um, long story. Okay. And I, so I actually lost the manuscript, and I actually had to rewrite portions of the book. And oh, it wow. took basically 20 years to uh, finally publish the book. So there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of challenges and and uh and i kind of my goal was not really to think about oh yeah you're getting published you're you know i wasn't even thinking about the money that's not that's not important to me is mm -hmm. the fact that i could finish finish the book and because it was for elvis because of my love for my love for the king and mm -hmm. i think that was more important than and than anything than than worrying about money figures so okay so you know you talked about uh you know, uh, I th you made the, the comment about going to the library and looking through those strips. And, you know, that's you think about the old school way of having to do it. You know, you didn't have the Internet probably when you started doing this. Correct. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it was it was walking your way to the library and doing research. And even using Canada 411.ca, where I looked up uh, phone numbers of people of media personnel, uh, who attended the concerts at Maple Leaf Gardens? I actually phoned a few. Uh, Hugh Thompson, he passed away in 2003. He was a Toronto Star um, music critic, jazz. He was a jazz critic and writer. And okay, and uh, I spoke to him on a phone. I think he was in his early 80s, and he's yeah. And I and uh, he had some interesting comments. He said, he said Elvis wasn't my cup. I'm paraphrasing. He said Elvis wasn't not my cup of tea, but don't be a stuffed shirt just because something's different. So at least he was open-minded about Elvis's music. And then and he also said Elvis called him sir during his oh. meeting when he met Elvis. And he says a newsman's not used to being called sir. So <laughs> I thought that was an interesting uh, anecdote from oh. uh, Mr. Thompson. Yeah. So, you know, your research, obviously, like you said, you, you started years back making phone calls. Um, when, when did you know that you were on to something that, you could, you know, um, get to where you were going to get to. Um, was there, a t you know, was there uh, trials where you're like, ah, you know, I don't think this is going to happen, or was it all, you know, where where was the the emotional ride going to 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 make this book happen? Uh, I would say the emotional ride was, uh, you know, being unable to uh, secure a publisher. Mm -hmm. uh, that was kind of a, a really big challenge, right? We, obviously, it's like uh, acting actors, you know, you audition, you're not always going to get the part. And I think it's mm -hmm. like with writing, you're not everybody, everybody's going to accept the manuscript. So I had several, you know, rejections after a while. And it kind of, you know, it, it kind of gets to you a little bit. And, sure. and then I, I just kind of put I kind of put the project on the back burner and just like, I just like, okay, I'll take a break. And, and then about two years ago, I went for a walk in my neighborhood. And, and there's something in my brain just said to me, uh, 
hey, you got to finish this book. You know, you started this many years ago and you know, it would be a waste, uh, you know, to interview all those people and many of them who, who passed away. You know, that's another and was another driving motivator was the fact that a lot of the people I interviewed at Pat had are no longer here. Mm -hmm. So and I, I couldn't go to live the rest of my life knowing that my manuscript is uh, sitting in a basement collecting dust. Mm -hmm. So when Amazon, you know, had the self-publishing uh, features come out and then I kind of uh, that was another I was like, hey, maybe maybe I'll do this on my on my own. And right. And that was, that was kind of the motivator to, to finish it and get it done. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I, you know, obviously I'm not an author and, and so, so what, what you did, Brandon is, uh, you know, when you think about it, you're, you're taking history of what happened at those concerts and, and, you know, I recommend anybody to, 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 uh, delve into Brandon's book, um, because it was some crazy, crazy times in El you know, in Elvis's career, a lot of wildness happened. Obviously, you know, the the show in Vancouver, your hometown. Uh, I've been to that stadium uh, back in my my youth with my dad, um, you know, and seeing soccer games, the Whitecaps. Uh, my dad was a big soccer fan, and I was just thinking of all the people that were in this stadium to go see Elvis Presley. And as you know, that concert lasted a mere, how many minutes, Brandon? Uh, 11 times two. Yeah. 22. 22 minutes. So all the hype and, and craziness, but uh, you can read about that in, in, in Brandon's book about what went on. Obviously it was two different tours. He started off uh, doing a tour in Toronto and in, in Ottawa. Uh, and then later did a, a North, uh, Northwest Pacific tour, which he included the, the, the Vancouver uh, show, um, which Brandon uh, details in his, in his book. And uh, so I'm, I'm glad it, uh, everyone's got a chance there. I see some people were uh, uh, talking about getting in here to, uh, to see us chat, chit chat. Um, so Brandon, um, your book, uh, obviously it's self published through, through Amazon now. And uh, uh, correct. Yeah. And uh, uh, I know uh, you and I chatted oh, maybe about a year or so ago uh, the first time. And uh, I know, uh, uh, like I said, anything with Elvis and, and those early years, it's a, it's, a, it's a great read. And I appreciate uh, that uh, manuscript lost that you, you know, pers you know uh, persevered, I guess, and, and, and uh, provided that book for the fans. And uh, so we appreciate that. I know... Uh, Brandon has also offered to, uh, I have your book right here. Um, let me try. I'm trying to hold this iPad because people are chit-chatting over there. But uh, here's Brandon's book. It's called All Shook Up in Canada. And you say, well, why didn't he call it All Shook Up in Canada? When you start reading this book, you'll realize why it was All Shook Up in Canada. And uh, uh, like you said, he... Uh, uh, August 31st, 1957 was the, the performance in, uh, in, in British Columbia. And uh, uh, I don't know if I told you the story, but my uncle was a big Elvis fan. That's where I got my influence. And my parents had lived in Vancouver for a short time. He was the youngest of, of the brothers. And he was with his older brother in Vancouver, in August of, of 57, he was a teenager, 15, 16 years old. His older brother was the driver and he found out that Elvis was coming to, uh, to Vancouver. Unfortunately, wow. uh, his hometown was Lethbridge, Alberta, which was quite a few hours away. Mm -hmm. And his mother said, no, you boys get home. And my uncle's story is you don't know how hard it is to know that Elvis Presley is landing and you're leaving. Right. Oh, and man. Uh, so, but that's the story uh, for that. But uh, a great read. And Brandon's offering to uh, to send a, a lucky winner, right? That's uh, correct. This book. So, what we want you to do in the comments is we all you need to do to enter is type in all shook up in Canada. So, if you type in all shook up in Canada in the text uh, comments, uh, put your That'll be telling me that uh, you want 
uh, a chance to win Brandon's book. And then what we'll do is after our event tonight, I'll go through all the names. If uh, uh, you, you, I did a random draw of, I can't remember what it was for. And I had a, uh, an Elvis lunch bucket. Remember that Brandon? Yes, I did. Uh, you yeah, told me, yeah. and, and I took a name out of a hat. So type in all shook up in Canada. There you go. Mary and Sandy and uh, Cheryl, they're all start. Everybody's uh, typing all shook up in Canada and uh, we'll pick a winner. And uh, tomorrow sometime in the showroom, I'll announce a winner and we'll connect and, um, and uh, Brandon will, We'll send you his book. And uh, if you don't happen to uh, be the lucky winner, Brandon, where could uh, obviously Amazon uh, work? Where, where could, is there other places other than Amazon that this book can be uh, purchased? Um, it can be through uh, chapters Indigo. If you live in, uh, well, obviously if you live in Vancouver, it's, uh, okay. it's a different a stores. Um, mm -hmm. It's also in a store in actually Memphis. Uh, I'll maybe I'll message that to Rob and just letting, okay. uh, um, at Burke's bookstore, sorry, in Memphis, the book is okay. there as well. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, if there's any other updates, I'll, I'll message Rob, and Rob can update the, yeah, you know, fan. Well, Brandon, we really team. appreciate you offering uh, this, and uh, um, my book, I got you to sign. I uh, think uh, uh, I always, you know, if I I can get uh, an author to. Uh, to uh, sign a book here, I'll show you. Brandon uh, gave his little autograph there, and I really appreciate it. Just uh, uh, it just shows the hard work that you put into it, Brandon. Uh, well appreciated. Uh, great photos. Um, also, Brandon, I know um, um, you've been posting some some historical stuff on Vancouver and the stadium, and that's the way I am too. It's just just the history is just so rich, and. Uh, oh. um, if you have an opportunity, hopefully one of you folks that uh, I just all see all shook up in Canada is going across the list, which is great. We'll have a winner. But if you don't happen to be a winner and you want it, uh, the easiest way is probably through Amazon. Just look up all shook up in Canada and uh, we'll have a lucky winner for this book. And uh, so, Brandon, I appreciate you taking a, a few minutes uh, here. Uh, don't go away, folks. Uh, we got a challenge coming up. As, as Brandon said, you got the, the album covers there, the Elvis uh, Canadian tribute. Uh, but we got, uh, I like challenging our, our very uh, sharp fans. So uh, after Brian, Brandon signs off, hopefully Brandon can, uh, not sure if uh, what, uh, what your schedule is. I guess we're three hours, so we'll probably around your dinner time, Brandon. But um, we're going to stick around and we're going to uh, got some videos coming up and a bunch of different things. So. If you've just joined us late, Brandon Yip, the author of All Shook Up in Canada. He's got a, a great book talking about Elvis' um, concert uh, performances in the only country outside of the United States. Happened in our homeland, right, Brandon? Canada. Absolutely, eh? <laughs> eh. And, and uh, go ahead. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to also say, uh, you know, I wanted to, you know, thank uh, the many people who I interviewed who are no longer here. I mean, if, if it's if it weren't for them, there would be no book. So I am, right. I am grateful uh, to everyone who I uh, interviewed and uh, chatted with about the King. So I, it's just, uh, if it weren't for the people it would be no book. So, yeah. Oh, and all you talk about red and, and all those different people that oh, yeah. uh, just have some history and, and, and they lived it. And, and for you to do the research you did and, uh, and, and get it. Cause I don't think there's a, a really a book that I know of that, uh, that talks about, that time frame, and uh, and so Brandon, you kind of kind of hit a home run, as uh, some of our baseball uh, folks uh, say here in the U.S. Uh, uh, you hit a home run uh, with your book. So again, if you just joined us, type in uh, uh, "All Shook Up in Canada," and uh, we'll, Rob will be uh, picking uh, a lucky winner uh, for Brandon's book, and he'll send it out to you. Uh, don't go away, folks. We're uh, even though Brandon's going to sign off, uh, we're going to stick around and uh, start some uh, some uh, album cover challenges. So, Brandon, I'm going to uh, say so long. Thanks for joining us. If you're able to hang out and text us some of your answers, uh, great. If not, we appreciate you taking the time 
joining us. Uh, and uh, thank you for doing that book. It's a, a very well done. Thank you, Rob. And I will stick around. I will take a short break, but I'll come back and I'll participate in your, uh, in your right. event. So, all right. But, well, I'm thank gonna, you very I'm much. Gonna, all right. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. See you then. Take care.